The floors are painted. <laughs> and they're... Sticky. They're sticky. They're mostly set. So now, it's on to the walls. The walls. We gotta finish prepping all the walls, clean them, prep tape all the cabinets, off. tape everything off. It's gonna be a long afternoon. Yeah. Here we go. All right. before we paint. That looks pretty clean. Yeah. I mean, this is the way the walls look before I TSP them. They don't look all that disgusting, but TSP is formulated to get, what was it like, greasy dust residue off. And if you've ever painted anything before, you know that if there's dirt on the surface, it's so. I'm gonna go change out the solution. Finally, first layer of adhesion primer is going down on the wall. Paint! Finally! Oh, hi! <laughs> I uh, took one of the paint, oh, one. one of the paint sample cards and I taped it up with frog tape so it wouldn't get soggy and now I'm just jamming it in between the carpet and the wood. Whoops. Didn't slide in on that one. Started taking the backup camera apart to replace it. And I'm trying to figure out where it runs. Where it runs? Where the cable runs, so I can pull the cable off, put a new cable in. Oh jeez. So I guess I'm taking everything apart now. Oh my goodness. I'm taking the corner of our car off. Yeah, well, it's got some bubbling rust. So I don't think it's the worst thing in the world to take it off and maybe get it refinished a little. Like right here? Right here. That's what some spiders. Or it got painted over rust. Something like that. Mm. I'm gonna try to take it apart. Do you need a flashlight? Um, I don't know. Oh, I feel like this is just a flash piece. Although, 
I probably could get the new cable down it. Just run my new cable down the side piece. I could probably do that and then just reseal it all. Punch a little hole in the bumper and go down underneath the chassis. It's probably something I could do if I can't find the original one. I don't even know if the original one is through the roof or through some foam insulation. There's no way I'm getting it off. No way I'm pulling a new cable with it. So this doesn't seem to be like integral to or essential. This doesn't seem to be essential to the structural integrity. It is a little because of uh, just keeping water out. But I mean like our RV isn't about to fall apart. No, but this we might want to clean and seal. Oh yeah. This is plywood in between the... Mm, that looks kind of gross. We'll want to clean all of this mm -hmm. and re all the way up and probably get some new screws. That's crazy that you see these RVs and they look so solid and then you look at it and you realize... It's a bunch of plastic. It's just... But you you construct it right and it's pretty solid. Yeah. It's like flimsy material on its own, but you screw it together properly and... So I think I'm gonna clean all this. Yeah. I'll run my new cable across down here into this little hole here, run it through the chassis. Because right. I think the other cables probably run in a channel behind this. Okay. So I'll just cut that one off and shove it in there. Or I can even just coil it and put it back up in there. Just so it's still there. No sense ruining it, I guess. It's got a BNC connector. I don't know what we'll ever use it for. But... I don't know what a BNC connector is. It's Do a not video. have an A con connector? It's a video connector. It's a quick connect video connector, but it's mm. only two wire. I need four. Okay. So. I'm so glad you know how to do this stuff. Mm. Kind of. <laughs> right. Look at this. Everything's painted white now. It's so bright and big. And we're trying to decide. Whoa. The big reveal. We're trying to decide. Hide what color we like better. So this one is Sherwin Williams Sea Salt. This one is Bear Watery. Ryan likes this. Oh, look at you! I think that's it. Yay! I put that plastic thing back up real quick, just for the heck of it. that for now? Sure. I am in the process of trying to replace the backup camera and I've got this monitor it needs 12 volt power and I want to be able to just plug it into a cigarette lighter for right now while I test it. And the only thing I have out here is an old car adapter that goes to 5 volts so I'm gonna try and pry it apart and just use the contacts just put in my own cable hopefully it works. I gotta adjust that thing. I pulled down these metal corner pieces from the back yesterday to run cable and around the screw holes they have little rust bubbles under the paint. So I'm gonna try and smooth those out and paint them. not perfect but it'll protect it until I can find a better color so day 995 of working on the RV and Ryan is currently wiring the RV for Ethernet not internet Ethernet and Wi-Fi 
and he's been running cables for the last couple of days and figuring out how that's gonna best go and um, this is what that looks like currently. Runs up over the top of the transmission and then right here and what I need to do is there's a pole right there. There. It goes to the slide out. It's very uncomfortable. I got it. Woo, just keep pulling it. Okay. Uh okay, there we go. Woo! Okay, here I'm gonna send you the camera. Alright. I think I can come up now. Oh good. Here I come. Cause I'm this is a this is a difficult position to be in. I don't know how to get out here. <laughs> I'm stuck. This board is so heavy. Okay, hold on. Without hurting myself. Oh, I feel like Atlas with the weight of the world on my shoulders. Oh, get your back. It's covered in grass. <gasps> hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Look at, look what's on your back. How cute. All right, I'm gonna take him outside. Okay, I feel you pulling on him. Yeah! Woo! Got it! We're back at the box. We've made a full circle. Peek. Ooh. Oh. Thank you. So, so far, underneath, I have run two Ethernet wires. One up to the back steps for a big antenna, and then one to the front. And now I am running one to the pop out in the back, the closet, all for Wi Fi stuff. And yesterday I ran a new wire for the backup camera. So there's a new high def backup camera on the back instead of that old black and white and CRT thing. And then hopefully the next time we're out here, I can put the rest of the backup stuff in because we've got more cameras. So that'll be nice. Getting cameras going. Running more. Cables running up through the frame rail. Okay, here's my cable. Uh, I got it in one of the existing cable straps. Oh. No, I'm gonna try and get it through. I think I opted not to last time because it was too tight, but let me see if I can do it this time. Hey, it works. Paint tank and fuel tank. Cable okay, comes up through the generator bay, up right here, and punched a hole into the front. Okay.
stuff in truth. Truth, we're pretty good on fiber glass. Learned from the other side, and this one went much easier. So there they are, all installed. Yeah, I just gotta go, I just gotta go hook them up. Cool. Cameras are all installed. Got two backup cameras and two side cameras. So those ones came down the side here and then they go in through the chassis, or under the chassis. Are you warm? Ready to leave? <laughs> Done for the week? I think I finally got all of the goo out of the bathroom. Cool. Maybe. We got the cameras installed, got ethernet installed, almost everything is primered, and now we're just letting it sit over the weekend to cure. I learned that when you're primering, if you put on a nice thin coating, then it's gonna solidify and cure really hard. If you leave thick globs, those will peel off. So thin, even coat. Cool. Yeah. And I learned with these cameras, don't put them too close to the trim because they don't fit. And you have to drill multiple holes. <laughs> so don't do that. Is that a lesson? That, uh, yeah, it's universal. Needed to be learned? It's universal. I'm sure we won't be able to tell you everything that we're going to do next week because we discover new jobs as we go along. Yep. So, until our next video. Thanks guys. See ya, bye.